Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create anime from any video. This is absolutely crazy. Let me show you the original video here. I've got this anime fan clearly with their sword doing anime things, of course, and then watch this. I'm gonna go to the actual completed version. I'm gonna make this full screen. Oops, start at the beginning. And here we go, I'm gonna hit play and let's go. Again, this is not going to win any awards, don't get me wrong, this isn't an award-winning uh, anime, but I did this, I did this with one click, and I can show you how to do this in under three minutes f using a tool that is free to sign up for. The actual uh, export at the moment is not free, it cost me about 50 cents to do eight seconds of, of this, but I'm gonna show you everything in a couple minutes flat. So let's just start off right from the beginning. First step, runwayml.com. I'll just type it in right here. I'll leave a link in the description below. Once you're here, you need to log in if you have an account. If you don't have an account, sign up, it's free. And we are in and we are on our way. Now the next step is actually not very, uh, it's kind of counterintuitive. Normally you would look over here to create new projects, but we're not going to. We're gonna go over to the right side, click on our little face or our little icon here, and we're gonna go and open up the ML Lab. Right now, as of February, uh, as of March 3rd, this is a uh, laboratory uh, type thing. It's experimental, it's beta. So let's go ahead and just keep going. Now, you're gonna see something like this, depending on when you watch the video, but what we're looking for is this one here, stylization. It's not animation, it's stylization, and it's a little, again, a little bit counterintuitive, but uh, you'll get the point. So once you open up stylization, we're in ML Lab stylization, you're gonna see a whole bunch of options. I'll just scroll through them, and I'm gonna show you a few of these other ones. You can turn uh, videos into Picasso, like you take a video and make it look like Picasso did it, or Van Gogh made it, or Monet, or uh, Kandinsky, etc. but the one we want is anime so selfie to anime stylization with ugatit yeah that's the name guys i didn't name it so i'm going to click on this it's also this one here but again it's the anime filter now you're working with me let's keep rolling the next step is we want to go to export images and videos yes we can make a video into an anime now it asks us to drag and drop our file i'm going to go ahead and just grab the file so i've got this one here uh, let's just grab this anime fan and drag and drop it in there. It's going to take a few seconds to upload. While it's doing that, take a look over here on the right side. You're going to see here, uh, you know, you can look at the model info and stuff like that. But what we want to do is we want to go from image to video. So make sure video is selected. Now we're going to select the frame rate. It automatically defaults to whatever the video frame rate is that you upload it. Keep in mind, if you want to go, you know, with a higher frame rate, that's fine. If you want it to be sort of like traditional old school anime, you can change the frame rate to 12, which is kind of like drawing on the twos, uh, depending on what you're looking for. And you can also keep the audio or not, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, you'll see here that this video is going to take about eight seconds or so. It's going to be an eight second video, pardon me. And then you can actually check the cost. So I'm going to click on this here and at the current rate it's 50 cents for eight seconds or so uh this is actually probably cheaper you could probably do like 30 seconds but i'm just doing a smaller video because it takes longer it takes less time to to um export then you can click on preview output if you want to see it please note that previewing takes a long time because basically you're drawing out you know eight seconds and if you're doing 25 frames per second that's like 200 frames that it has to create. So the preview takes a little while, but if you're happy with it, you can click on export. And now it's just gonna send it over here to the export and you're gonna see it here. It's gonna take a few minutes to export. This is not a quick process, but while it does that, let me show you one or a couple other things here while I got you. So I'm gonna go back to my finder and let's take a look at another example here. Here's an example of a tiger doing tiger things, looking all mean, and then I go back and this is what I downloaded. Here it is, sort of anime tiger style. Not perfect, don't get me wrong. It, you're not gonna win an award for it, guys. I got you, but it looks pretty damn good. Here's the 12 frames version. This is on a slower uh, framed version. It looks pretty good. It takes about 20 minutes to do an eight second video to render, but this is what you get, and that's all there is to it. It's one click, guys. Thanks for watching.